Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Before we get into today's shed hunt, I want to let you know, giving away a moose paddle this month, the month of December. Any purchase at risingshed.com, you get an entry towards this guy right here. It's a big paddle. You're gonna love it. With that being said, this month I'm also doing 56 entries for new t-shirt subscribers. Yeah, if you sign up for the t-shirt subscription, you get 56 entries towards this guy. He's a stud. Also at risingshed.com, we have shirts, hats, belts, recovery rub, which you can throw on your sore muscles when you're out hiking and all that stuff. I use it on the daily because I, my, my legs and at my age, I, I mean, I'm 33, almost 34. I'm, I'm starting to feel those aches and pains. So I throw the recovery rub on there and all the pain goes away. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. And actually, if you already are a subscriber, tell your friends about the channel. Let them know that I'm about mostly shed hunting. I do a lot of shed hunting, but I do hunting, fishing. I need to pick up on the family videos a little bit more. Uh, let you guys know, you know, more of a behind the scenes type of thing from my wife and I and raising meadow and what it's like to be a dad for the first time. I'm going to get into that type of stuff a lot next year. So if you're a subscriber and you've been here for a long time, I'm going to give you more of an in-depth look of what Rise and Shed really is, what family life is like, and, you know, just kind of give you the ins and outs of... I guess mine and Jess's marriage and how I run Rise and Shed and she runs her own business. She's a cosmetologist. She does hair. And so next year I, I plan on diving a lot more into the family stuff and just business stuff and give you guys more tips and tricks and more, more everything, just more education. So like I said, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy this little short hike that we did. It was a couple hours and it was actually a lot of fun. Found some antlers. And of course, when you find elk sheds, it just, it gets you jacked. I mean, it gets me jacked. Like I, I love finding elk sheds. I don't, I don't know if you guys realize this, but elk sheds are just my thing. I, I would much rather find elk sheds over moose paddles, deer sheds, anything. Elk sheds. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys? Out here on another hike with Kyle and Bridger. First part of the day, we have been getting our butt kicked and we came into this last location. Been hiking for half hour, climbed up to the top and I don't know if you can see them right there. looks like a set. Let me turn this around. Well, it actually is not a set. We got a couple years old. Right there, this one looks even more chalky and it has a little something something on the bottom. But nonetheless, we've got two. Let's find some more. We spent all day kicking ourselves. Dude, we're too high. We might have to buzz some of these draws. Look at that thing, what the? And my dog just found a freaking nice shed out of the snow right here. Good girl, bird. That's, a, my first, that's the first shed of today, really. We've been getting our asses kicked. I mean, it doesn't help that there's freaking three inches of snow on the north faces, but oh my gosh, dude, she is prizing that around, dude. She knows. Oh, yeah. Woo. Birdie, come here. Come here. Good girl. Hey, whoa, whoa. You can just tell her to whoa. <laughs> yes, dude. What did you do? <laughs> Dude, that other side's gotta be right here in the snow. Just walked up on this one, maybe 50 yards later. We got a chalky four. Very nice, we'll take that. I'm gonna glass all this stuff across the way right there. Maybe I can turn something up. All right, guys, I seriously put my phone down and got my binos out very first thing i glass up an elk shed and that's why i came to the top and of course it's down at the bottom i'm up above it and it's on the other side of this little bowl but ooh, elk shed baby i am so pumped about that and it's literally right next to these other three that i just found so i just got to drop down and go grab it but we got an elk shed baby just walked up on that guy literally like maybe 80 to 100 yards after I picked up that four. 
he is old lichens all over him but that elk shed is still down here maybe i can find his other side on the way down that would be dopest dope it actually looks like a decent one like i can see the fronts and i could see a little bit of a sword it's definitely an elk shed but i just need to make my way down to it and honestly i don't even have my pack on we literally were only going to come up here for a couple hours so i was like eh, i'll just grab a water some cashews and make my way up and that's four quick ones plus an elk shed so already at five dang and there's a lot of snow i was actually disappointed kind of mad that we were coming out here because there was a lot of snow but this just made it worth it find an elk shed let's go down and see what he is well i definitely thought it would be bigger but nonetheless we got ourselves an elk shed little six heck yeah oh i needed that haven't found an elk shed in quite some time is he hard white uh, he might be like two years old not bad though not bad at all let's see if i can set up the phone and show you guys all righty here we go little six try to cover up the sun for you nice little six though we will take that all day you gotta love finding elk sheds oh the day made right there Maybe we can find his other side and maybe turn up a big deer shed, another big elk shed. You never know. Let's do it. So put my antlers down to glass all that. Picked them up, looked up, have that under the tree. Oh. Just a little guy, old, broken, but it's a shed. I have all these in my hands. And I have my bino harness two points. And the truck's that way. It's been a good day. Good little uh, couple hour trip right there. Very nice. Yeah.